Hi everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to this webinar. Really excited to see so many of you with us, excited to get started. Today's topic, we're gonna to be talking about creating a holistic approach to golf. And with this, I think when it comes to the whole concept of webinars and digital meetings, I don't think it's reasonably new. I think all of us have somehow participated in in different types of digital settings. But if you're reasonably new to webinars, then just to give you a couple of different pointers. Number one, I hope you can hear me, you can see what I'm saying, and you can see my presentation. The thing is, I won't be able to see and hear you. So the way that we can communicate is actually through the chat. You can find the chat at the bottom end. You can ask as many questions if, as you have, if you have any feedback, anything that you might be wondering about, please use the chat and you can ask them anytime you like. I might answer them right away or I might wait until we get to the end as well. Um, hopefully, I might be able to bring in Jim here for just a quick second. Let's see if I can invite Jim. He wants to say a couple of words here before we get started. Hopefully, we'll be able to invite him in here for a second. So, Jim, if you can hear me, then uh, if you want to accept the invitation I'm sending you right now, I see if we can get the technology going. Here we go. Hi, Jen. Hi. Can you hear me at the moment, Chris? Absolutely. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, very good. It's uh, our first seminar with uh, Connexit. Yeah. And, uh, and, and in a way with you, um, it's also important because you're talking about persons and people. Um, yeah, it, it's a pleasure to, um, yeah, in a way, to introduce you, and um, and I hope that there are a lot of members uh, sitting at the other side of the of the room or of their uh, screen, and um, yeah, I, I hope uh, we are looking forward to, um, uh, for um, f um, yeah, looking forward to a great cooperation for for um, I hope many many years. Um, because I think that uh, the physical part in uh, our teaching and coaching is uh, quite uh, quite important. And I think that uh, because I've seen all, already the system, um, I think it's, it's, um, yeah, it's also digital. And I think that um, to get uh, physical, the physical part in our coaching, we need digital uh, support. And that's, uh, and we need digital support and we need very simple support. And eh? don't, don't make it too difficult uh, because if it is too difficult, the, the, your, your pupils or your coaches, they will not, uh, not do it. And uh, I tried it already. Uh, and I must say that my telephone is following me uh, saying, okay, Jim, you, it is time for your exercises. And then, okay, thank you. And uh, so I do my exercises. It's, ver it's very simple. Um, I think it uh, it works. And there's another point, and that is uh, what I also want to underline uh, for PGA Holland is that um, I think if we are very good coaches, we always we first test, we first screen, and after we have um, screened our uh, our client, then we can make uh, a plan. And I think that uh, Connexit is uh, helping us uh, with that. So. Um, Chris, we're looking forward to a great seminar or seminars, and we hope to invite you in the future uh, in Holland. Yeah. Appreciate that. You can go on. Very good. Uh, Jim, do you want me to drop you off, or do you, do you want to be a part yeah. of this right now? You can drop me off. Perfect. All right. I'll see you on the other end. All right, everyone, uh, if you just can, if it would be great if you can use the chat and just give me a little hi, just, just to see that you're here. I would be great to just see that everyone can hear us, can see us, and so forth. That's great. So just use your chat. Just give us a little hi. Perfect. Hey, Marlene, great to see you. Um, you're going to be hearing me for a little bit, so I want to first of all give myself a little bit of a presentation. Um, my name is Chris Manson. I started my career years ago in specializing in golf fitness, really specializing in helping golfers of all levels, all handicaps, and making sure that people are actually moving better. And I had the opportunity to work with lots and lots of professionals. And I realized that there's a little bit of a gap here. And we founded a company called Kinexit. And we're all about creating this holistic approach to golf, where we incorporate golf equipment, technique and the fitness component. We know that 
pretty much every brand on the market in equipment is great. But if we look at golfers, if they're in their maybe fifth and sixth custom driver, it's hard to maybe see those big leaps that we want. And we know with the technical side of things, most professionals are incredibly well at teaching and finding new ways to help their players. But a real backdoor into golf fitness or an into improvement is actually helping a player move. Now, we work with hundreds and hundreds of professionals. And we've kind of seen this shift where we're going from just a two-part pie to adding this component, but doing it in a very easy way. Now, when we look at golf fitness, sometimes we, it has both a positive impact, but it can also look at it from a negative side of things. Some players look at this and they get very motivated. They feel this is some inspiring area that I want to do. But we also have a demographic that is massive. We've got senior golfers, adult golfers, and the thing is, golf is physically demanding. We need to be able to do different things. We need to be able to rotate, to side bend. We need to be able to bend forwards and backwards. And players of all levels can really benefit on getting access to some really good content. Now, we've seen as with as little as 15 minutes, three times per week, we can make some serious impact on golfers. Things like improved distance by increasing range of motion, increased revenue for the pro because we're adding more tools to our toolbox, and also extended memberships because we don't want to lose members due to injury. Now, we've worked with professionals for many years, and I know that fitness, everyone pretty much can agree that if a player can move better, they're going to play better. But sometimes it's been a little bit of a, a hurdle or a challenge. And some of these challenges when it comes to adding fitness have been that professionals don't feel confident or they feel that they don't know how to package it or they feel like it takes a little bit too long or maybe something that is a little bit too complicated. And I get it. You know, these things have been with us. But what we've tried to do is change this around, making sure that professionals feel confident, they know how to package it and something that takes very little time and is incredibly easy to do. Now, we have created a platform specifically for PGA professionals, for academies, for clubs. And what we do is we offer a very flexible platform to measure, to analyze, and share personally designed programs to players. And, you know, we've got partnerships with pretty much lots and lots of, of academies and professionals all around the world. We're really, really excited to be partnering with the PGA of Holland. Before that, we started a, a partnership with the CPG, and we had a great opportunity to meet Jim and the rest of the team uh, in, in Greece, and that's where it all kind of started, which really, really excites me. Now, what I'm hoping we can do today is kind of go through some different aspects. One is a little bit of the fundamentals of golf fitness. We're going to talk about how we can incorporate assessments to create a professional impact. We're going to look at some case studies and how we can attract new customers and ensure that our business thrives. So I'm hoping that we can cover a lot of things in this kind of inspirational seminar. Now, if we look at the fundamentals of golf fitness, the first thing we have to understand that is why do we want our players to you know, invest into this, this piece of this pie, the golf fitness area? Of course, we want them to move better. We want them to get more healthy, et cetera. But the key thing here is we want them to play better golf. One area around fitness is actually increasing swing and ball speed. I just had a seminar last yesterday with a club, and we're about 80 people in the, in the audience. And I asked the question, who here wants to hit the ball shorter? No one does. Everyone hit wants to hit the ball further. And at the end of the day, we can do this in different ways. We can buy new equipment, we can change our technique, or we can look at improving our body. And one way of doing that is actually looking at increasing more movement because more movement equals longer backswing and longer backswing equals increased swing length. Now, this isn't anything that's probably new to all of you. We know that if we have more range of motion or if we have further distance, it's a lot easier to create speed. Same thing with the golf swing. If we've got more distance to carry, well, then it's much easier to generate club end speed. It's so much harder to generate it if we're stiff, or if we don't have that backswing that we want. 
Um, another piece too, when we talk about goal fitness is the aspect around creating good habits, creating a, a training environment or an environment where players are improving. And one is warming up. And we know that warm up is such a vital part. We don't want people to get injured. We want them to be ready for play. So here it's all about making sure that players, when they get on the first tee or from the practice range, they all know what to do. I had a player years ago when I was working more, you know, one-on-one -on -one with players um, and I had this survey and I always used to ask the questions and one of them were, you know, do you warm up before play? And he said, basically, um, I, you know, I run. I was like, wow, I was a little bit shocked. And I was like, okay, let's go for it. Well, I mean, how far do you run? Well, it depends. It depends on how far it is from the car to the first tee because I'm always late. And the funny thing there is it's pretty typical. Usually there's two reasons why players don't warm up. One is time. And, you know, we can, of course, teach them how to get there on time. And the other piece is just knowledge. What do I do? So in Connected, for instance, we have great warm-up routines so players know what to do with a club. They can do it with a, a, a rubber band or with their body. And it's all really short and things that they can do on the course or they can do on the practice area or they can do it at home. Of course, one key area is an important one. Some things that we know is important, but this whole concept of injury prevention. Um, we don't want our players to, you know, be injured and it's never a fun thing, but if we can create a routine where players are moving better and eliminating their limitations, we can create a really, really interesting area where players are actually doing really well. Finally, these three pieces we're very passionate about making sure that fitness is a natural part of what we're doing. And that really considers in you all what you're doing today. You're great teaching professionals. You're probably amazing at helping players really get the most out of their game. Same thing with equipment. A lot of you are most likely club fitters and really know how to build appropriate bags and making sure that, that everyone is getting fitted in the best possible way. When it comes to fitness, we can make it a natural part because you all do it pretty much any day, any way on a daily basis. You most likely interview a player, you get them to hit balls. And then in between here, we can do a very simple assessment that's going to give us a little bit of feedback. That's going to give us a good understanding what they're doing. Now, what we've done is break down the fitness component into three simple steps. The first step is the assessment. And it kind of creates a personal approach where I could all, you know, had all my players the same program, but it's not very personal. So what we do here is we personalize it by doing this assessment. The next step is feedback, kind of like all of you most likely are using some type of a launch monitor. And we use the launch monitor to provide feedback. We use video to provide feedback. Same thing with a, a connected component like this is we want to provide feedback to the player to, to let them know what they can improve. And then finally is drills. I've been there. I've screened a player in my career and I told them, you know what, these are my findings. Get back to me in six weeks and I'll be done with your program. No one wants to wait six weeks for a program. It's too long. We want the drills right then and there. So that's where we try to automate it as well. So the players can go home whip their things and get going right away. So if we break it down, the assessment is a key component. And there's multiple ways of screening players in that sense. And at the end of the day, if we look at it, I'll, there's so many great golfers out there. But I can see a lot more similarities that I can see irregularities. Well, they're all, in this case, they can all move in three planes, which most of us know really well. I mean, at the end of the day, um, it's nothing new. We know that we need to get into this position where we're bending forwards. We need to be able to rotate. We also need to be able to side bend. There is somewhat of extension in the backswing. And we do everything in the opposite as well. We go through, we side bend, we rotate, and we also have backward bend. So nothing that's reasonably new. The golf swing is three-dimensional. But when we look at it, we also have the aspect of having different layers or different segments. 
we've got what we call mobile zones and we've got stable zones. And at the end of the day, we're all about making sure that the mobile areas are mobile enough and the stable areas are stable enough. And in many cases, some players have lived a lifestyle where we might be sitting a lot. And this causes some friction because if we have a, a joint like our hip, which is supposed to be very mobile, if that starts stiffening up, but I still want to hit that ball 250 yards, then areas like my lower back or my knee are, is going to be starting to be affected. So these two pieces, the concept of being able to move in our different planes and our different areas in our body, that's where we try to get a good understanding what's going on. Now, there's multiple ways of screening a player. What we've done is we've created a menu with different screenings depending on the situation. So let's say I've got a 25 minute lesson and historically adding a fitness component has been almost impossible because they've taken like 45 minutes. In our case, we've developed a screening that we call an express assessment. It only takes about three to five minutes to do. You don't have to leave the hitting bag. And it's great when you just want to introduce a player into this world. You might have a serious golfer and you might want to spend a little bit more time with the player and go a little bit deeper. Well, then we've got a deeper mobility screen. You might be working with juniors where you want to work and build in more things like power, speed, etc. So depending on the situation, we've got lots of different screens to help you. Now, at the end of the day, it's all about finding can the player move in these different planes? What's going on in the thoracic spine, in the hips, in the feet? And then from there, we'll provide feedback and we'll provide different drills to help the player improve. So what I was thinking what we can do now is just to give you a little bit of a taste of one of the tests. Now, in this short time, this is more for inspiration. If you want to learn more, if you're interested about Kinexit, we're happy to help you. I just want to give you a little bit of a taste so you know kind of how it looks like. So the express assessment, it's five tests, takes about three minutes to do. And here we're trying to identify the typical limitations to the golf swing. We're not going to be able to figure out everything here. It's express. So it's supposed to go quick. It's supposed to be simple. It's supposed to kind of get us going and getting the player interested. Now, there are certain areas here that we want to think about. First of all, when we look at it, We've got different gradings. So we've got a green button, we've got a yellow button, and we've got a, a, a red button. Now in this test, we're asking how well can the player tilt their pelvis? So basically, how well can they tilt their pelvis in this case? So in a golf posture, we want to be able to tilt, and we want to see how well they can do it. Really much connected to their ability to hit fine neutral. We don't want them too much here. We don't want them too much in this position. We want them to find neutral. Now, many golfers will look like this. They can't do it. So this is what we want to try to figure out. Some players will kind of do a lot of shaking, and some players will find it quite easy. And this is what we want to try to find. Now, in this case, depending on what they find, what we find, we want to give them a particular score. So in this case, I might have a player. They can't do it. It's red. Um, the second test is how well can the player separate their lower body from their upper body? So same concept. We're going to be asking the question to get into their golf posture. We are going to basically ask them to separate their lower body from their upper body. So you don't need alignment sticks, but I'll just have them here. And here we're basically asking the golfer to separate their lower body from their upper body. Now, Many players will look like this. Everything moves in the same direction. They can't separate. Or they might look like this. Their knees are moving, but their hips aren't. Or they might look like this. Their hips are moving a, a lot side to side. If we're yellow, there's usually, it's okay, but I'm, I'm struggling. I'm, I really need to focus. Or there's a big tendency of moving quite well on one side, but I can't move to the other side. And green is I can rotate without moving my upper body. Now, depending on the grade, 
we'll grade them. We'll give them a color. We'll chuck that into Connexit. Let's say that it's yellow. They could do it, but it was tricky. The other one is separation of the upper body. So basically, how well can the player keep their lower body still and rotate their upper body? So a lot of players will look like this. Everything's moving at the same time. Some players will be able to do it, but they also are just moving their shoulders. They're not moving the body. That's red. Yellow is I can separate, but I'm struggling. Or I can do it very well on one side, but the other side isn't well. And then green is there's good rest separation. I'm keeping my lower body still, and I can do it. Fourth test, how well can I touch my toe? So basically, feet together, go down, and come down and touch, and come back. If I can do it, it's green. If I can't do it, it's red. And then finally, we're looking at a simple balance test. 10 seconds, just like this. We're looking at around about 90 degrees. If they can stand 10 seconds on one side and the other side, well, that's a pass. That's a green. If they can't do it on one side, but they can do it on the other, that's red. And if you can't do it on both, then that's red as well. Now, in that case, what happens is you'll get feedback. So basically, at the end of the day, when you've done this, you'll get some feedback, and that feedback is going to look like this. So when we've done our test, we're going to get a goal fitness handicap. It's going to give our, the ability for me as a pro to be able to give some feedback to the player. Now, it's not, it's more symbolic. It gives us a good sense of if there's a lot of red, then the score will be higher. If there's a lot of green, then the score will be lower. So if a player has 54 in goal fitness handicap, well, then they have a lot of area to improve. If they have scratch or zero, well, then they have a lot of green. It gives us a great sense of if we can collect data from a launch monitor, if we can collect data from maybe video, and then we can also collect data from a fitness component, it gives us a very holistic view of things. So I want you to imagine that you're working with a player, you're in your lesson environment, they come in, you add, they maybe just bought one lesson, and they come in and you start with maybe some type of an interview. You ask some questions. Who are you? How can I help you? What's your handicap? What are your problems? And so forth. From there, you're getting them to hit some balls, perhaps. Whatever club you'd like to choose, if it's a pitch or wedges or if it's a seven iron, they're hitting balls and you're assessing them now. You're looking at their technique. You might be even videoing. You might have your launch monitor active. Here, you might basically say, hey, when I work with players, I look at these three components. I'm looking at what's in your bag, I'm looking at your body, and I'm looking at your swing. And I want to do a little bit of a simple test just so I get a sense of what you can do and what's going on. Can you just grab your club, and I want you to do these five tests. So you get them to do the tests, you plug them into Kinexit, and at the end, when you want to kind of prove your point, well, that's where you can collect these things. Then you can show, based on what I see in this launch monitor, based on what I'm showing in your video, these are the reasons why you're doing what you're doing. And I can also see that your, your screening or your body, there's a lot of limitations here. And that's not going to go away by itself. The good thing is we've got something that we can use. I've got a great tool here, and it's going to give you lots of different drills and exercises to help you move better and get stronger and be able to swing a little bit faster. So it's a sense of it being a natural part of what we're doing. That's the main kind of topic here. Now, ultimately, there's other tests as well. We've got something called our mobility test. It's deeper. It's a little bit more advanced. And this is great for a serious golfer. Now, in this session, I won't have time to go through everything. But if you are curious, there's more things that you can learn. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of a taste how the actual tests kind of work. And the Express is a great opportunity to do if we want a simple way to just create some data and get some feedback from our players. Now, once we've done the actual test, 
the process for us has been something that we've really, really focused and specialized in. We know that professionals get really busy in season and we just don't have time to spend in spending, you know, 50, 60 minutes doing a screening. So once you've started this process, we've done our interview, we've asked questions, they're hitting balls. From the second you start the Kinexa process, you get give them a membership to use. It, you should be going from sharing to doing a screening in 10 to 20 seconds. From here, we're looking at screening to giving them feedback, depending on what screening you choose. You can be looking at spending three to 12 minutes. So if you're spending doing the express assessment, around three minutes. If you're doing the bigger screening, around 12 to 15. If you want to do all the screens, you're working with a junior, well, there you're looking at maybe 35 to 45 minutes. It all depends on who you're working with. And then from them giving feedback to the students starting their training, then we're looking at one to two minutes. So the whole kind of challenge, and I can't get it into my lesson, we've kind of shifted that around. So it is very possible to do that. Now, step three is the improved part, the actual drills, the exercises. Now, when it comes to this, when it, we look at creating, looking at Kinexit, is really an important piece to how we help players move better. Now in Kinexit, we've created a platform. We've got a little over a thousand exercises, but we just can't give a person a thousand drills. It's just too much. So our AI, what it will do, it will do basically based on the tests, based on the person's profile, we will be deciding or the system will be deciding what drills and what programs will be kind of good for the player. And then from the payer's point of view, they can choose depending on what they want to work on. So you might want to work on flexibility. You might want to improve your balance. You might want to improve your strength. And then from there, you can choose between 15, 30, 45, and 60 minutes. And then of course, you can scroll down and you can choose programs like improve your pelvic tilt. So if you had a player that had difficulties in tilting their pelvis, well, then we have specific programs to improve that. Or it could be, for instance, they have a hard time separating their upper body from their lower body or they could have a hard time touching their toes. So depending on that, we will be providing them all the things that they'll need. We also have things like a 10 week winter plan. It will be shifting to the fall now and, and kind of in season training. It's kind of like having a, a streaming service. You don't wanna just have a comedy series. It's gonna be quite boring. So we wanna create lots of different programs so the player has a really nice way of improving. Now, at the end of the day, we're very passionate in helping professionals adding tools to their toolbox. So depending on what you're using today, if it's TrackMan or if it's CoachNow or if it's HackMotion, we want to be a natural part of what you're doing. And where we fit in is actually the player's ability to move better and get more flexible and more stable and so forth. Um, and part of our plan is what we do that is we have a process where we want players to build a really solid pyramid. So the first step is building a solid foundation with mobility and stability. So if a player has limitations or if they have restrictions or if they're really, really restricted, we want to focus on that first so that they've got a little bit more room to move. Now, Next step is strength and function. Of course, once we get going, we'll improve that as well. And really the key thing here is what we've seen, if we wanna be a little bit generic, a lot of seniors and adult golfers really lack the ability to move. Not all of them, but we can see a lot of players that really have physical limitations and starting there is really gonna help them a lot. Now, as I mentioned, we've got a wide range of different drills, etc. And the key thing here is we want to try to map if a person has limitations in their hips or in their feet or in their thoracic spine, then we want to try to give them some resources. The only thing Kinexit doesn't do is we don't train for people. You actually need to be at least have somewhat motivation to go in 
and really work on the things that you need to improve. So, for instance, as I mentioned, these are some of the things that a player could be getting. One of the great things of what we've learned is not everyone has the time to go to the gym and spend four hours a week. And what we found is small sessions that they can do anywhere is really popular. So like 10, 15 minute workouts really has been something that we've seen a lot of interest in with golfers. Um, so things you can do in your living room, like if you have uh, issues in tilting your pelvis, well, this is a great way to kind of improve it by doing things like getting on all four or lying down and tilting to then standing up and working with a golf club or some type of a stick. Um, the next area, like if we look at it, when it comes to this whole kind of movement and, and we look at exercises and drills, we've noticed one really important piece when it comes to teaching and professionals and academies is it's so important that we make it a natural part of what we're doing. And for this, it's key that, you know, understanding that so many professionals do things a little bit differently. Um, we know that there's areas that we can provide, you know, value. And if we look at it, there's lots of different ways to package it. And when we work with players, we know that we've got the single lesson approach. We know that if a player comes in and we're working with them and, and they bought the one lesson, we know that our main objective is to provide a, 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 some type of a solution. We want them to, you know, go out there and say, we've, we've either fixed it or we've got a, a plan for them to improve. And in that case, it's, you know, it, it could be something when we talk about fitness, challenging to historically to bring it in. But if we notice that the player is kind of not moving like we want them to, then doing it so, uh, an approach like this really, really works. What a lot of professionals are starting to do is when we look at it from a packaging perspective, we can see that the initial lesson starts with, of course, your swing analysis, your body screening. And the body screening, you could do it with Kinexit, or you might be using other types of tools. Um, you're, of course, checking what they have for type of goals. The goal fitness program is something that gets done automatically. And then, of course, you will be checking their equipment. Now, what Kinexit will do is we'll provide the homework in between the sessions. And then how you set up your own kind of drills and your sessions is really up to you. But in between is a great way where players can improve their technique and their fitness. Now, in this case, if we work practically, a student might come on day one, then two or three weeks later, if you'll have your, your follow-up session, and then two or three weeks later, you have another follow-up session, and then at the end, you'll do some type of an evaluation. You'll retest them, you'll look at what's improved, and hopefully they've made some good progress. So what we're seeing is that a lot more professionals are moving away from this kind of classical approach where we're offering discounts and we're more providing a more substantial lesson or a, a lesson package where players are getting access to a lot of value. So if we just compare and we look at this, we can see on the left side, we've got kind of that golf lesson approach where you buy four, you get the fifth for free, or you get a discount. And it's common practice. But what we're seeing more professionals lean towards is providing a way where when you come to me, we're going to be doing multiple different things. We're going to be testing what you can do. We're going to be baseline testing. You're going to be provided with drills and technique. You're going to be getting access to great golf fitness resources. We're going to be checking what's in your bag and what we can improve. And of course, we're going to be a following up. And that could be an example like this. This is one of our, our academies that have something they call a swing booster. In that swing booster, you have the first initial lesson. And in there, you've got your body screening that we provide. Now, their first initial lesson is 75 minutes long. You don't have to do that. But they have a pretty unique setup. And they're doing a lot of testing with their players. Same thing is you'll have your follow-up lessons, and then within this package, you have a membership of Kinexit access to two months. So this is an example of how they do it. They've got a really, really unique 
Academy. They've done an incredible way of creating their studio environment, their setup, their website looks really, really great. But in all their packages, they've really come across and understood that part of their DNA is that they want this holistic approach. And in, in all of their packages, they know that when they, when they work with players, we're going to be assessing these three areas. So no matter what goes on here, they want to make sure that their players are moving well, they've got good technique, and they're addressing their equipment. Other professionals are doing it very similar. You could have a sense of looking at, you might have a small, medium, large, and you have more text where you're providing just feedback and you're providing a little bit more explanation. There's multiple ways of doing this. And my shall or my kind of, where my inspiration is here, where I want to share with you all is saying that golf fitness can very easily be put into what you're doing with very little kind of tweaking and it can create a lot of impact. So for instance, if we look at a case study like this, we've got a small package where what they do is our smallest package is designed for students who want a quick and functionally useful analysis of their swing technique and physical ability. In this package, you have one month of Kinexit. In medium, you have two, and in large, you have three. So the time axle is longer. Um, if we look at it from an approach like this, very similar as well. And there's also a little bit of, of kind of feedback on what how we kind of work with students. And here we've got lots of great texts and, and, and aspects too around what you can provide and what you can share with your players as well. Now, we're kind of getting to the end of kind of the webinar today. And, and one of my key things when we work with it is the aspect around helping players improve. We know that there's a great kind of door that's open. And it, many times golfers can kind of find some ways around it, but it won't go away by itself. Uh, there's really things that we can do to help them. And in a really easy way, we can do a lot of impact. Every golfer is unique. I would say that, you know, making sure we can customize their drills and their programs is something that's going to really set us apart. And then also, I think adding goal fitness to our teaching toolbox really creates a professional impact. And we've seen lots of professionals really increase their revenue by putting these three together. Now, a little bit about Kinexit and about kind of how we work with professionals is the fact that when we work with them, we have a three-step model. The first thing is we've got different types of plans and our plans are there to basically be fitted for professionals and academies that maybe are working just, you might be one sole uh, professional that, and you're working on your own. We also work with academies with lots of professionals and a very big client base. Um, the next piece is the actual around getting certified and getting activated. And it's really important here because when we activate professionals, we want to make sure that this whole piece around making sure that you're comfortable is a key thing. So during an onboarding or and during our education, we make sure that professionals get all the fundamental biomechanics and goal fitness that they need. We go do a, a deep dive into uh, the system, how these screenings work. We get good education on how we can give feedback to players. And then, of course, we want to provide some great information around how you can support and put this into your business in a really simple way. And then, of course, doing this, we do a lot of these things online. We have them on demand if you just want to watch the videos and get started. And then, of course, we are speaking with PJ Holland and we are speaking with Jim as well. Depending on the interest and how everyone's kind of looking at this, we will also be interested in maybe finding some locations where we'll be we inviting multiple professionals. And then we can kind of do a very big deep dive into getting started, et cetera. Now, within Connexit, we've also understood that the whole thing around packaging and resources is something that we don't all have time for. So we've got a great knowledge center where we have, a, as a professional that utilizes Connexit, you have access to. In here, you're gonna find lots of great things. So everything from getting started 
to website content, you've got texts, marketing material, and then also lots of great examples for packaging. So here you're gonna be finding a lot of different things, both if you want to package it in, in different ways and lots of case examples, kind of like a smorgasbord with lots of great stuff. So you know exactly like, I like this, I'm gonna be you know taking some of that and everything's free to use and things that you can just grab right away so you can get started directly. So our plans. Now, when we work with professionals, we have different plans depending on your needs. Our core business model is around the fact that when I'm a pro, I have access to Kinexit. I'll have access to a certain amount of student months. Now, these student months you can use in multiple different ways. In our first plan, we call it startup. And in this case, you will have access to 100 student months that you can share with your players. Now, I've been talking a little bit about our packaging, etc. Now, for instance, how can I, you're probably wondering how I can use these months. Now, first of all, if we use, if we're in a single lesson approach, you might provide one month to a player. And if you're in a lesson package environment, someone's bought, you know, maybe a lesson package where two months of connects it's included well then of course you'll be using two months for that the thing is you will be incorporating this into your package and you will be able to charge for it our next package is 300 months our fourth or the third one here with the standard is 600 and our pro is 1200 months and all of these are depending on kind of what size of your business and will help of course to get you started on the right one if you're interested. Now, feature-wise, the only thing to look at is the fact that in all our plans, you can screen players, you can provide drills and exercises. If you want to be able to share your own videos, that's part of our larger licenses. When it comes to the PJ of Holland, we've had some really good discussions and we really wanna encourage a lot of you all to Use Kinexit if you feel like you want to make golf fitness into a natural part of your lesson experience. And part of that, what we've done is we've agreed on creating a little bit of a different model for you. So if you're interested in using Kinexit, all members of the PJ of Holland will have a complimentary license upgrade, which means that if you access our starter package, you will only pay for what you are doing in startup. And that kind of goes across. So you'll be getting a lot more value than what you're paying for. And ultimately we see it as an investment and we see it as a way where you can be growing your business and helping more players. So to make it very clear, if you're interested in using Kinexit, then, and you're part of the PGA of Holland, then you will be getting a complimentary license upgrade. Now, breaking that down, the key thing here to look at is, again, if you're interested and this is something that could fit in what you're doing, you can either choose to do this monthly, which is the pricing across here, or you could do it annually and you will be saving a little bit for that. It depends on how you want to set that up. The number of months and then of course the purchase price will vary so the higher or the higher you go the lower the purchase price and then we recommend around about 12 to 15 euros per student month that's what you will be selling connects it for if you sell it directly or if you package it we'll be giving you lots of different examples of how you can do it but it's really really good once you put it in into the correct way so in this case, you know, a lot of professionals use to connect it to kind of raise the value of their lesson package by incorporating more pieces. Some professionals will be selling goal fitness months separately. So for instance, if you have a student and that you're working with them and they might say, Hey, uh, you know, I'm trying to do this, but I just feel really stiff. You give them assessment and then basically they'll say, you know, this is great. How do I continue? Well, in this case, they might buy a lesson package where this is included or they might buy connects it separately and say, hey, I want to use it. So we don't go directly to consumer. 
the relationship between you and your student is completely between you and how you put connects it into what you're doing is your business. We'll just provide the technology to make it easy for them to move better. Um, so in this case, again, they might buy connects it through you and then you go onto your dashboard and it's really easy to set up. Now, We've come to the end. I was hoping to do around 45 minutes and I hit that mark perfectly. Uh, if you have questions, if you have things that you're thinking of, it could be anything around connects it around our screenings. It could be around how you could put it together. Um, feel free to use the chat. Um, can be anything really. Um, and at the end of the day, if you're interested to learn more, then I definitely encourage you to, Go either if you have your phone, if you're on a computer right now, I'll be sharing the link uh, at the end of the presentation. Um, and in that, there's just a page where it's like a form. And that form just lets us know if you're interested in learning more or if you're interested in, in learning more about Connexit or our prices or if you want to get started. So it's just a form, no strings attached. It just gives us a sense of if we can help you provide more things. Um, Alec, you had a question here. Do you have a test set up for us to see the layout? Of course. I was just going to get to that. I would encourage you all, if you want, you can go on to connectsit.com, go to coach, and then click on try now. If you do that, you will be getting a 30 day trial. You're going to get 10 months that you can play with and share with your students if you want them to try it out. If you want to set up a personal call and get a little bit of a personal tour, we've got, I can help you. We've got other parts of the team that can help you. There's great guided tours as well. So we're really keen on, as Jim mentioned, the support uh, to make sure that you guys really get all the support that you need. So I'd like to answer your question again, go to connectsit.com, go to coach, try now, and then start your free trial. Um, so let me just provide this link here as well. So you have it. Um, it's going to look like this. I'm just going to grab that link and put it into the here. So here's the website, connected.com. And then I want you to hit the coach and then I want you to hit the, um, the piece around try now. And this is the link for the actual form. And the form is just saying, I'm interested in getting started with Kinexit. Um, put in your contact information and then there's three options. I wanna schedule a meeting to learn more. I wanna get started. And then we're providing you with some information and then if we can help you with anything else. Got a question here. Does handicap change if you do other assessment or is the handicap fixed to the particular assessment? That's a great question. So depending on what screening you do, we're providing more feedback and so forth. So yes and no. The actual handicap is connected to those tests. But we also will be providing feedback when it comes to the other tests as well. But then we have specific feedback for those tests. So they look a little bit different, but they're very similar, if that sense. They're, so they do get connected, but we have to go specifically give feedback on how players can move in other tests too. Um, now, any other questions or anything there where I can help? There's a great question. So again, if you wanna try it out, if you wanna learn more about the tests, we're gonna be doing another webinar next week uh, where we're going to be inviting another teaching pro that we work with and he's going to be giving some feedback and some insights how he uses it and how he works with his students and so forth. Um, so yeah, that's about what I was going to cover today. I hope you thought the, uh, the webinar was um, inspiring. I hope you thought that it could give you some insights. Uh, any type of feedback and so forth, we'd love to hear. 
If you have any other questions or anything like that, feel free to, I'm, I'm here for, for a little bit more. And also we'll be sending out emails too. So you can also reply to them directly and we'll be happy to help. Um, I see that there are a few of you that are kind of noting down some things here. So uh, I'll make sure to kind of wait. But here's some of our contact information. Uh, so I'm one of the founders of the company. I'm the CEO as well. So I'm kind of the, the face forward. Um, and you've got my contact information if you want to give me a call or if you want to send me an email. Um, when it comes to Connexit, for instance, you know, make sure you, even if you're kind of curious or if you don't know, you know, give us a call or, or set up a meeting and we'll be happy to give you kind of a presentation and kind of learn a little bit more about what your business does. Um, and we'll probably give you a lot of great examples and then see if there's could be a good fit there from that sense. Um, any other questions? I see that there's some of you taking some notes. So I'll wait a little bit longer here to see if you have anything here. Thank you. The app looks great. See you next week with the pro. Oh, perfect. You'll be there as well. Great. So definitely encourage you to be on the, the webinar. Oh, can you put me on the screen? Let me do that. Of course. Give me a second. Invite. So Jim is going to be on here in just a second. Yeah. Hey. Can you hear welcome. me? Yeah, absolutely. Welcome again. Yeah, super, Chris. Okay, Chris, um, thank you for this presentation. And um, in a way, in three quarters of an hour, you, you, really, did, uh, you really did a lot. Uh, um, explaining a, a whole system and a whole app, um, which is really helping the people at home. Um, I, th I think that it's also um, yeah, it's, it's such an easy way to start very simple plans um, to do the physical part and to implement the physical part in your uh, in your lesson. Um, I advise every uh, pro who's who's now in the in the webinar um, to go to the to do the uh, 30 days uh, free trial because uh, it's amazing how it is uh, everything is built um, and. Um, yeah, what I also like in the system is that you, yeah, you can add value to your lesson and um, in in a very simple uh, in a very simple uh, way. Um, so if I'm correct, uh, it's, it's like um, when we have the um, the package, then it's 100 hours so that you can give free lessons uh, 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 to your clients, and then they can uh, they can try it out, and after that they can decide themselves if they will go on uh, with the system. And well, that, that's a great question. Let me kind of, let me give you a little bit of an in-depth kind of a piece. So the 100 student months, those are like credits. And credits are used in such a way. Let me kind of give you a first-hand approach here. Let me, um, let me change my screen. Let me do like that. And we're going to go ahead and share. And we are going to go and share like that. So right now I'm in Connection. I'm logging in. And what will happen is every coach that gets signed up will have access to a coach dashboard. Now, you yeah. have your months here. I have a master account. So my credits, I can share as many credits as I like. It was going to say, for instance, 100 credits. And this credit is a, is a value. And I always recommend if you want someone to try Connexit, then we've got a piece here called a seven day trial. And that you can give to any, as many players as you like. And it's a great way for them to try it out. Once those seven days are finished, we will be saying, hey, player, hope your training's going well. Um, make sure to contact your pro or contact Chris or like if I'm the pro, and then I can hit a button. And then I'm as a pro, I will then be reacting. How am I going to do now? So there's different options here. Some pros will package connects it into their lesson package. And what will happen is because they're doing that, they can increase the price of their lesson package and they can yeah. generate more revenue. Or the player might be traveling. They might not have time for lessons. So then the pro can sell, for instance, two months to the player. So let's say here that I have a player, let's go to about to expire. Let's say here, this player here, he's got three days left. 
he wants to buy two months. So I'm going to go ahead and hit two months here. And then I might be sending uh, this player an invoice or he might uh, buy this in the shop. He might, you know, have a transaction. So we fix handle the technology and then between the pro and the player, they the player will pay the pro for the two months. And as soon as I use those two months, then what will happen is the player will have more time to train with Kinexit, and then the pro will then have 99 months left to share with their players. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if, if, if I'm correct, that uh, in a way the, the selling, the selling of the, the app to your students will go by the pro. Correct. Done by the pro. Yes, correct. Yeah? So, and, and it's uh, what you said. Uh, so if it is uh, six euros a month eh, with, uh, with the simplest uh, package, and I say, okay, um, I, I, um, you have to pay 10, yeah? I make four euros on each, each month that he is using it. Correct. Yeah. And so, and it's also, um, I get, um, um, I see in my master account, I see all my clients. Yes. Yeah? So, and uh, it is it also, um, and okay, so, so in, but in a way, I, it's also possible, um, for instance, if I am the head pro of the goal school, that I, um, that I have that account for all the people in the goal school, I only need a big account. That's, uh, yes. Is that correct? Correct. So if, if I were uh, five pros working on one, one, in one academy, I can do it with one one account. Yes. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. It's clear. Super. Yeah. Yeah. Super. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there are any other questions or. If there's other questions, I see there. A few people are typing. Um, I want to give them a, a, another second or so um, to to be able to type. Yeah. If and in the meantime, I can say that uh, now we will, uh, uh, after next week, we have another uh, webinar. Yes. Yeah. So and next, after that, yeah. Next Wednesday at 10 o'clock, we'll be providing some similar information. But Henrik, who's a really, really um, experienced pro, he's been using Kinexit for many years. Uh, he's going to be providing some really, really great insights as well. So, uh, that's going to be a really good session to to uh, to look into. Yeah, and after that we will uh, let's um, we will have a look how, how the the interest uh, is, and then we can plan a date that you're coming to Holland to to do the because you need before you're going to use it you need um, an, an, a physical training or a training on on on, on the ground let's say it in that way. Um, before you get your uh, your license to use it or not? Yeah, so basically what we do is you can either do it online or you can do it on site. We, we have, you know, we have professionals all around the world. Um, but the key thing here is when we talk about getting a certification, it's really making sure that a pro, that they feel comfortable in being able to do this with their students in a, in a lesson yeah. experience and lesson environment. So it's more for the pro to feel like, you know, I, I know I can do this. So if you, if you feel confident, if you know how to package it and that there is a little bit of communication where you might have it on your website, if you don't do those three things well, we see a lot of great results. Yeah. Super. All right, Thank everyone. You. Thank you so much for- Peter. Uh, for the uh, taking the time. Thanks so much for all your great questions. Uh, as I was one, one question from Peter. Yeah, uh, Peter, do we have do you get an invitation for the next webinar? Absolutely. If you if you go into let me uh, I can send that here again. Um, if you go onto the same link, there should be like a drop down, but I can grab that and I'll put that in here directly. Uh, let's go like that. Um, and if we go there and like this, here's the link to the 
uh, webinar next week. If you don't see, yeah, but that's but that's the same. That's the same, uh, uh, Chris. Oh no, it does. It's it says it should say there's a should be a drop down. So let me share my screen here again. I'll go confirm. Hold on two seconds. Share, share. We're gonna go to there. That one. Okay, sharing. Okay, so in this one, there should be a drop down. And this is the one you want to choose. So this is today, and this is in, in seven days. Um, so right here. Yeah, but this, but that, that, that's the same subject. It's the same subject, but it's a different yeah. seminar. And that's when you can see that Henrik's joining us. Okay. Correct. So there's two. So just make sure to get to sign up for that one. Yeah. Oh, so so everybody who's in here, in a way, they have also to sign up for next week. You say. They, yes, correct. So sign up, and if you have any questions, email me. I'll send you the correct links, and make sure that you guys are signed up. So if you're interested, okay. in make it. Then then that's fine. Super. Uh, Alec, do you get the presentation sent by email? Absolutely. Yes, sir. So uh, you'll be getting the presentation. You'll be getting the link. And so forth. So as soon as this webinar is done, you'll be getting a recording of everything. If you want to share this with your colleagues, feel free to push it out to them as well, and they can see it as well. So, um, but everyone, we're one minute past. I don't want to take more time with you, but really, super thanks to everyone. Uh, thanks for taking the time. I hope you thought it was valuable. Um, looking forward to having more discussions. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Jim, thanks so much for joining. Welcome. Okay. Have a good evening. Yes. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.